Okay, so I've got a so I've got a nice brand new metal cutting blade on my jigsaw. I've marked my one foot point and I've clamped all four or four pieces of the angle together. I'm going to attempt to cut all four at one time just so that they're identical lengths. Uh, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but let's give it a try. Well, obviously the camera did not like the vibration on the bench. However, this is the end that I'd lined up originally, and that is the cut. And you see I've cut all four pieces at one time. So now we're going to take them apart and uh, give them a little bit of a deburring. Okay, these are going to be mounted on the side. This will be the right back. And since this is going to be on the bottom in the back, I'm going to have a hole on both sides, uh, hopefully equally spaced out. So I'm going to use a square. <clears throat> and just come from that corner. Right there. Reverse the square. And come from the corner. All right, so that should be uh, approximately centered, and that'll be where we make um, the holes for all of the side brackets for the bottom. Okay, so the final, the cage, or the first part of the cage, is ready. Now I've added these uh, felt strips on here uh, to fill in some room and make sure it doesn't rattle. Now all we got to do is a test fit. I have marked the top and the bottom. Bottom left, bottom right. Let's just see how it fits. A little snug right there on those pieces of felt. Beautiful. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's the uh, box, and as we see, the uh, case fits really nicely. The inside rail fits really nicely. And this is the rail that we'll start. We'll put the top across here and mount all the radio equipment right here.